We're gonna take you on a walk from downtown Venice to the beach. Like you've like never, you've seen, never it seen it before. So here we are on the map. You can see it's just the two minute drive, an 11 minute walk, or a three minute bike ride. I am a realtor in the Englewood, Venice, Sarasota, Northport area. So if you're looking to move down to the area, I'll leave my information in the description box below. So where we're starting off this video is from by the downtown area, which here's a couple shots of it. But we'll also link you in the description down below to a more full video talking about downtown Venice. This is actually where the farmer's market goes on Saturdays. And from there, there's basically, you can see in this median here, a big, almost like a park with a trail. And sometimes it branches off into two trails. You'll see more as we continue down. But basically that goes all the way to the beach, which is where we're going to take you. So this park, it's called Heritage Park. And yes, it is a pretty cool spot. You can walk from here all the way down to the beach and it's an amazing way to get to the beach. Yeah, and I think it's really cool how it's situated right between the downtown and the beach. Like it's just a nice area to hang out. There's a lot of shade throughout the whole walk. You'll see a lot of trees, all kinds of different trees really. And there's a lot of like little benches and stuff in between two bike racks, things like that, little statues and, and things like that to check out. Yeah, and I have seen people um, just go there and sit on the grass and have like a picnic too. So that's cool. Yeah, that's always fun to just even just relax there for a while and actually we'll go out of our way to drive there just to take our dog for a walk there that's exciting for her too and one other thing it to note is some of these banyan trees you can see one there there's some cooler ones that are coming up so definitely stay tuned for that part but then on top of that, throughout you'll notice from time to time these little black posts. Those are actually lights that are like along the trail that will light it up at night. And we've taken the walk at night too and it's amazing. It's magical. <laughs> yes, very magical. And one other thing we like is there's a lot of different cool houses on the side. Some are Spanish style, some are kind of more townhome looking. Just a lot of beautiful houses in the area to look at as well. So definitely try to keep an eye out for those on the sides. We definitely passed a few already. There are also along this path some different, especially as you get closer to the beach, some of them are like uh, hotels or condos that are that are rented out for short term use. So a lot of times you'll see people that are just staying around the area just to hang out and enjoy the beach and enjoy the warm weather from wherever they came from. Okay, and I'll just note here, um, just because there's a lot of grass. So the grass here in Florida, it's a little, it's different. It's kind of spongy, but also prickly. Like, I don't know, it's, it's very different, but it's still like, you can still enjoy a time just having a picnic or whatever. And then to the left there, you can see one of the houses in downtown. It's a little more modern. And I also want to add with the grass, a funny story. When we first moved into our house, because we lived in a condo previously, we didn't have to worry about taking care of the lawn in the condo, of course. In the house, we did. So there was all this weeds that was growing from our lawn into the sidewalk and stuff. And I, I was pulling it out and pulling it out. And I'm like, I said to Haiti, this uh, weed just goes forever. You know, it's just like everywhere. Turns out that was our grass that we were pulling because the grass down here is not like blades. It's like this long vines that kind of attach to each other along the ground. And then the blades come off of those vines. So if you ever move here, don't just start pulling out the vines. And actually right now, you're not seeing a lot of people, but if you come at the right time of the day, especially like in the evenings or like in the winter throughout the day, because it's a little cooler during the day, you'll see a lot of people sitting at the benches and things like that, just hanging out, especially by like banyan trees and stuff like that. Yes, and a lot of people actually go to Heritage Park and take pictures by the banyan trees because it's, it's kind of like a little touristy attraction. Yeah, and they're just very cool. They're beautiful, they're different, they're unique. And then this is a replica of the Venice Army Air Base. Um, it used to be located in South Venice actually, but they made a replica and put it downtown. There's a lot of little pieces of history and things like that throughout the downtown area in Venice in general, but especially in the downtown all the way down to the beach. So they got little signs and things up where it'll have a paragraph or two kind of explaining some of the history. So if you get into that kind of thing, there's a lot to learn and just going for a walk can be more than just going for a walk. It can be a little bit of a field trip. And then here to the left, we have some villas and we're approaching to the right there that yellow building is actually a hotel and that's the only hotel we have close to the beach everything else are like condos or condo hotels. and we're getting real close right after this intersection we're gonna start entering the beachy area kind of there's like an overhang and stuff you'll see and drop a comment let us know if you like this different perspective from up high and down low and kind of fast forward it and moving backwards wanted to try something different for this video so in this area right here this is the overhang to the beach 
beach. Um, sometimes they'll have they'll actually have live music, so people will come down there and just play. And you could see also their concession stand there too, that is kind of open sporadically. Sometimes there'll be like hot dogs and stuff like that, candy, things like fries. that. Yeah, French fries. And this is the beautiful beach. And trust me, you will see the water. And I'm gonna give you another angle in a second here where we'll walk you towards it with the other view. And then this right here to the left, every Sunday I believe it is in Venice Beach, they'll have a drum circle there and that's all shells. Yeah, they made a circle out of seashells with that. So here you can see we're finally approaching the beach with the water in view. Wanted to get both angles for you. And drop a comment, let us know how you think we filmed this because it's probably not what you think. If you are interested in moving to the area. I am a realtor and I can definitely help you move to the area, find a home here in beautiful Venice, Sarasota, Englewood, Northport, or any of the surrounding areas. Information for that will be in the description below. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked the video. Leave a comment, let us know what you thought. And be sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications to catch the newest videos. We'll see you in the next one.